Hey, what's up? This is Kurt Sender Rope TV. Tried to make this video, it ended up way too long, so I'm gonna make it really short and sweet. You're being told that this election was about the fact that the Republican Party lost the minority vote, or you're being told that it's the fact that you know the Republican Party lost the, uh, uh, you know, the, the uh, this, that, and the other. Whatever stupid thing you're being told, and I'm gonna tell you what this election is about. Why the Republican Party lost the election? Why Mitt Romney lost? was because conservatives, real conservatives, not neocons, real conservatives, people that care about this country and that demand their liberty and that demand constitutional governance, those people stayed home. And if they didn't stay home, they voted third party. That's why the Republican Party lost this election. The Republican Party wants to generate revenue. That's code for raising taxes. That's the message we're now getting, was that we should compromise the things we believe in? Are you freaking kidding me? You've got to be kidding me. No. This election was lost because the Republican Party left their conservative principles, and they want to lose more elections in the future? Keep it up. We are heading towards a cliff, not this fiscal cliff you're talking about, a total collapse global cliff. That's where we're headed. And then, and nothing, this election has nothing to do with that. We're heading there. We were heading there. We continue to head there. Whether or not Mitt Romney was elected wouldn't have changed a thing. That's where we're going. Barack Obama is a moron. Now, Mitt Romney wasn't a moron, but he was no conservative. And when you, when you look at it, I mean, he was not pro-life, was not pro-gun, was not pro-family. I mean, give me a break. At what measure of conservatism anywhere was that man a conservative? And that is why we lost this election. Because the people that were, look, the, the lemmings in the Republican Party, the neocons, that, the, what I call the Lucifer voters, they would vote for Satan if he had an R next to his name. Those people don't care who the candidate is. They don't care. He could have horns and a tail and, a, and a, a, a pitchfork, and they would vote for the guy. But the conservatives do care, and the conservatives have been being told for, oh, I don't know, 20 years, hey, he's better than the other guy. And you know what? I think enough conservatives have about had enough with that stuff, and that's what happened. They stayed home. So... You want to know why? That's the real reason. Don't believe this nonsense. They're telling you that, well, you know, we just need to compromise and give up what we believe in. We're not heading to where we're heading because we don't tax people enough. We're headed where we're heading because these idiots up in Washington seem to think that you're their ATM card and they can continue to spend, 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 spend. Well, they can't. And we're headed where we're heading and it's going to happen. It's going to happen. There's nothing that is going to stop it only thing that can happen is that it could be prolonged, but it's coming. Buckle up. I mean, that's the only thing I can suggest. Buckle up.